Clemson Sports Talk, the show that shakes the Southland. Brandon, Craig, Edward, Tim, and others hanging out with us live as we roll along on uh, the social media platform of Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm not calling it X. I can't even do it. I don't even know. Wait, a repost? A repost? I mean, it was bad enough when Coke rebranded to New Coke. Remember what a flop that was? And then all of a sudden, you come in there and go, ah, we're not going to call this thing Twitter anymore. We're going to call this thing X. Forget you, pal. Thanks for nothing. Not this guy. I'd call it Twix before I'd call it X. I'm going to continue to call it Twitter. And, and, and for some reason, even the logo on my website changed. And I'm blaming Elon Musk for that. So I can't control, I can't control that. But anyway, I digress. Back to the lecture at hand. MJ Morris. Did you see this story? Interesting stuff. So MJ Morris, who played for NC State a year ago, and then when they got Brennan Armstrong to come in from Virginia, Morris's plan this year was going to be to redshirt for a season. And then what he was going to do from that point was, I assume, come back next year and be the starting quarterback for the Wolfpack. Well, things didn't go as planned with Brennan Armstrong. And, and hey, Dave Duran didn't consult with me because if Dave Duran had consulted with me, I would have told him from what I saw for Brennan Armstrong a year ago as, as the quarterback at Virginia in Tony Elliott's first season that the dude had a noodle for an arm. The, ir the irony in, in, in his name being Armstrong and what I saw, oh, man. I'll tell you what, that dude looked like he needed Tommy John surgery or something. I mean, he was, could not throw the football. Anyway, so MJ Morris has decided that he will not play the rest of the season and will take a red shirt, but will not leave the Wolfpack. And initially what people thought, some people thought, was, oh, man, this guy. And he still could leave. I mean, there's no... Just because somebody says you're not leaving doesn't mean you're not leaving, right? You can pretty much go at any time in this world of college football free agency in which we live. But there is a chance that MJ Morris could, if you think about what we've talked about here on the program, Dabo Sweeney mentioning it, mentioning it that's hard to say. Dabo Sweeney saying this, during his press conference yesterday, of course, players can play uh, in a in a bowl game. NC State is currently bowl eligible at six and three, so I would believe, and I, I did not see anything that said, "Oh, he's he's hurt," but his goal is to preserve this year and redshirt. And he had three victories in four starts, including beating Clemson and Miami. Uh, you could argue that it wasn't necessarily because of his stellar play either that, that they won, especially that game against Clemson, which I think we're all very familiar with. But I think the bigger point, the bigger point would be, in some respects, that he's trying to preserve a year. And if he does decide he wants to play in the bowl game, whatever bowl game NC State gets to, based off of my understanding of the rule, because it's a postseason game, he could still come back and play another game. So for everybody, you know, up in arms, I can't believe this kid's leaving. What, what's he doing? His teammates. Let's not forget a couple of things. One, the coaching staff went out and brought in another guy initially anyway. So, loyalty, right? Can't really hold his feet to that same fire after that. But it doesn't sound like he's actually leaving. And I do think that he'll be able to play in a couple of ball games in the bowl game based off of my understanding 
of the new rule in the world of college football. So just kind of to, to put a big bow on that. Current starting quarterback for North Carolina State, MJ Morris, is going to redshirt the rest of this season. As I understand, he would be available in a bowl game. And I'm assuming the Wolfpack are just going to hand things over at this point uh, back to Armstrong. I don't think Armstrong uh, is is out, but they are already bowl eligible. They got a matchup coming up this weekend, 2 o'clock on the CW. Find out if it's on our What to Watch Wednesday list as I flash that up for you real quick, as quickly as I can. We'll... We'll, we'll read that to you uh, here in a minute. That NC State Wake Forest game, of course, on the CW. Uh, then they'll face NC, excuse me, then they'll face Virginia Tech on the road, 3 30 on the ACC network next weekend. And of course, they wrap up the regular season uh, with their in state rivals facing off with the North Carolina. Tar Heels on the 25th. 